Hi again everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to calculate the specialization index, which is also called the sixth value for a given piece of code. Right, so here we have our piece of code. As you can see, there are a total of five classes animal, flying thing, uh, bird, cat, and Persian cat. So the first step to calculating the specialization index is drawing an inheritance diagram of the all the classes that you've been given. Then we're going to move on to the specialization index formula and I'm going to be explaining all of the variables and everything to in a few minutes but you should realize that the first and most important step in this um, whole calculation is drawing the accurate tree diagram once you've done that you're almost halfway there so let's get started the first thing we have to do is look at our classes there's animal and then there's flying thing so here we go what I'm gonna do is write down the animal class and then the flying thing class all right so these two classes they don't extend from anything so after looking at all of the classes you can realize that these two will be our main parents parent classes next we're gonna go to the bird class the bird class as you can see extends from animal and flying thing so i'm gonna put that in the middle here is your bird class. It's gonna have lines of inheritance which extend to animal and another one which extends to flying thing. Right, so technically these should be arrows. So I'm just gonna put the arrows here. Very wonky, but it's the best I can do. So right, so we've done our bird class here, which extends from animal and flying thing. Next, we're going to go to our cat class, which extends from animal. So I'm going to put our cat class here. I'm going to label that cat. And there's going to be a line from the cat class to its parent, which is the animal class. And then finally, we have the Persian cat class, which you can see extends from the cat class. So here the parent is the cat class, like so, and we're going to mark our arrows too. And there you have it. This is the inheritance diagram for this piece of code. Right, so we've done our first step. Next, we're going to have to look at the specialization index formula. Now, this formula is the main thing in this entire calculation. You're going to have to understand each of these variables, which I'm going to explain to you now. So, specialization index is basically equal to NMO, which means number of methods overwritten, into DIT. Uh, that, that's basically the depth of the inheritance tree diagram, divided by NMA plus NMI plus animal don't freak out i'm going to explain each of these terms and i'm going to show the entire calculation in a few minutes so right so let's get started say that we're going to calculate the specialization index for the bird class all right so six for the bird class what we have to do is identify each of the variables and their values for the bird class. So let's start off with NMO. NMO basically means the number of methods overwritten. Take a look at the bird class. It has two methods, right? Sound and hunt. 
It extends from flying thing, which has the fly method, and it extends from the animal class, which, ex which has the eat method and the sound method. Now, the common methods among bird and its parents is just the sound. So you'll see that there is no hunt in the parent classes. There is only the sound method, which is also present in the animal class. <clears throat> this basically means that the sound method present in the animal class ha is being overwritten by the sound method in the bird class. So for this piece of code and for the bird class, we only have one overwritten method, which is the sound method. So number of methods overwritten for the bird class is basically one. Right, so next we have um, NMA. NMA, uh, no, let's start off with NMI. Next we have NMI. NMI basically means the number of methods which are inherited. Now let's go back to our bird class. It, ha it extends from flying thing and it extends from animal. Animal and flying thing uh, have a total of three methods, eat, sound, and fly. So what the bird class does is that it, it inherits all of the methods from its parents, which are animal and flying thing, which would mean it inherits fly, sound, and eat. Now, what you have to remember here is the the thing that most students get wrong since we've already included the sound method in animal because the sound method is overwritten in the bird class we can no longer include it as an inherited method so remember this um overwritten methods will just be included once do not include them in the NMI. Alright, so I hope I'm clear here. So since sound has already been included as an overwritten method, we're not going to include it as an inherited method, even though bird inherits it too. So the value for NMI is going to be 2 because bird inherits fly and eat from the parent classes. All right, then next we're going to take a look at anime. Anime basically means the number of methods which are added. Again, we're gonna go back to the bird class. We've finished the business for sound, it's overwritten. But as you can see, there is another method here which is called hunt. So the hunt method has not been inherited from the parent classes. Only eat and fly have been inherited. So since hunt is not overwritten, it's not inherited. And uh, hunt, the hunt method is basically anime, which means that it has been added to the bird class. So the number of methods we have added to the bird class is equal to one because of the hunt method. Right, so that was about it for our NMO, NMA, and NMI. Finally, we have the easiest one, which is called DIT. Now, I've saved the easiest for last. So DIT basically means uh, depths of the inheritance tree. Now you'll see why I drew this inheritance tree at the very beginning before explaining any of this. For the bird class, um, the depth of the inheritance tree is equal to 1. Why? Because there is only one arrow separating bird from the main parent class. Um, so for the bird class, it's going to be uh, DIT is equal to 1. But if we did this for the Persian cat class, you'll see that there are two arrows separating it from animal. So it's going to be 1 plus 1, which means 2. But for the bird class, there's only one arrow, which means 1. So now we have all of our values. We have NMO, 
NMI, NMA, and DIT. So all that's left here is to calculate the specialization index. So all you have to do now is just, you know, um, place the values in the formula. So 6 is basically equal to NMO into DIT, which means 1 into 1. Because for the bird class, we've seen that NMO is 1 and DIT is 1. Divided by NMA, which is 1 plus uh, NMI plus NMO. So 2 plus 1. Alright, so this will be equal to um, 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 0.25 now you've always got to write the 6 as a percentage so 0.25 basically means 25 percent and that is the specialization index value for our word class right so now i'm going to do the same thing just for the persian cat class we're going to be calculating the NMO, DIT, all of this just for the Persian cat class. So let me clear all this up. So all of this has to go. And ready. so now we're going to very quickly do the same thing for the Persian cat class. Right. So six. Okay, so we have the same tree diagram and what we're going to do is figure out the values for each of the variables in the formula. So as always, we start off with NMO. Now, if you take a look at the Persian cat class, it inherits from the cat and it inherits from the animal class. So Persian cat has two methods, jump and play. And a cat which is here has two methods called sound and jump and animal has two methods called eat and sound you're only concerned with the methods that are present in Persian cat so jump and play which one of these methods have been overwritten if you look at the cat class there's also another jump here so this means that the jump method in cat has been overwritten by the jump method in Persian cat. So the number of methods overwritten for Persian cat is equal to 1. There is nothing to do with play here, so we get NMO equal to 1. Next, let's calculate the NMI, which means the number of methods inherited. So, um, right. So except for jump, because remember, we don't include overwritten methods again in the inherited methods calculation. So except for jump, we have the sound class, which is in cat. And in animal, we also have the sound class again and the eat class. So since sound has been repeated in both cat and animal, only included once. So jump, we're not going to include. Sound, we've included once. And then we also have eat. So the number of methods inherited for the Persian cat class is 1 plus 1 here, sound and eat, which is 2. Easy, right? So next we have uh, NM NMA. NMA, which basically means number of methods added. So if you look at the Persian cat class, you'll see that the play method hasn't been included in cat and it hasn't been included in animal. It's not over, it hasn't, uh, it doesn't overwrite anything and it's also not inherited. So what play basically is, is it's added. So the number of methods added for Persian cat is equal to 1. Now for the easiest one, DIT. So I just discussed it before, for Persian cat there are two arrows going to the uppermost parent class remember that not just to cat it has to go to the uppermost parent class which is animal so we have one here and one here which basically means two so that's our values and now all we've got to do is calculate six so six is equal to nmo into dit divided by nmo plus NMI plus 
enemy. So for the Persian cat class, what we're gonna get for the specialization index is 2 by 4, which is equal to 0.5. And remember, you have to write it as a percentage, so it's equal to 50%. And this right here is how you calculate 6.